Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell how to write a VHDL code for T flip flop. So in the last class I have started the introduction of the T flip flop and the internal uh, gate level diagram and as well as symbolic representation. After that we have already seen the truth table of this T flip flop. So T flip flop is nothing but which is formed by short circuiting the inputs of G and K flip flop. So this is the logic diagram where J and K are short circuited together and connected to T. That means it works for only two conditions in the JK flip flop when both are zeros and when both are ones. So when both are zeros and when both are ones we know see here when both are zeros the output is no change and when both are ones the output is the toggled state. Output is toggled state. This is the very important state where we are studying about the operation of complete T flip flop ok. So when both are ones the output is a toggled state, a toggled state is nothing but a complemented version of the previous state. Now uh, that T flip flop do table when clock is 0 and irrespective of the input and output is a no change state and even after the application of clock pulse when t is equal to 0 also we will get no change because t equal to 0, j, j is equal to 0 and k equal to 0 then output is of no change. And when clock is having again raising edge and t is equal to 1 there we are having this toggle state. So toggle means complement of every out previous output. Now so t flip flop uh, the main application of the t flip flop is in counters. Now we are going to see. Uh, the behavioral style of uh, VHDL code for T flip flop. So, we will see the behavioral model. Behavioral model of the T flip flop VHDL code. So, we know for any type of VHDL code, it should start with two lines one is uh, library. IEEE and its packages whatever the packages we have to use in the program all such packages should be written here at the start of the code. So first one is library IEEE see without these two lines program will not work so that is why we have to start these two but when you are working in the tool like Xilinx or Vivado this library IEEE and uh, use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore 1164 these two by default they will appear in the beginning of the program ok but when you are writing in manually when you are writing on the paper and or in exams then you have to write these two lines on your own ok so library IEEE use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all and additionally we can also use the arithmetic and unsigned operations ok if any arithmetic operations are being done in the program then we can use those two lines so IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore arith 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 dot all use I triple E dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned unsigned dot all these are the these are the additional two lines okay definitely you should take one uh, package that is one one six one one six four dot all that is important package where we are having all the uh, functions in that next entity entity t flip flop is entity t flip flop is so entity is nothing but it is a place where we are taking the inputs and outputs inputs and outputs so, so here we need to specify now what is the uh, set of inputs and what are the set of outputs that we have for the t flip flop so for a T flip flop we are having the input T along with a clock signal and instead of taking like a preset and clear just I am taking a reset pin reset and output is Q Q bar this is T flip flop 
okay reset is equal to 0 there is no influence of this reset on the t flip flop and when reset is equal to 1 then output is equal to 0 irrespective of the state of input t and clock okay simply when reset is activated then output is 0 irrespective of the state of the input conditions and whatever may be the status of the flip flop immediately the output goes to 0 okay that is the uh, highest priority pin for the reset so we need to take all those things t clock and reset so rst is nothing but reset in std underscore logic all these are single bit so reset and i am also taking another signal temporary I will tell when we go into the program what is the purpose of this one. So temporary is also something input and q q bar out std underscore logic. Okay, end entity name is t flip flop. Now coming to architecture. behavioral of t flip flop of t flip flop is begin so process so whenever you we use behavioral model definitely you should write process and what are the instances we have t here clock and reset these are the three instances we have after that take a variable okay so we have taken here no need to consider here because it is an intermediate signal okay so temporary is an intermediate signal that we are using inside the variable inside the process okay as a variable so variable here we can write as variable so we are taking a temporary signal colon std underscore logic underscore logic colon equal to 0 that means we are taking a variable which is having an initial value 0 which is assigned with an initial value 0 so begin begin if reset is equal to 1 means reset is activated reset is equal to 1 means reset is activated so name clearly tells that reset output is equal to reset 0 irrespective of the status of anything output is equal to 0 so we are taking the output as temporary pin here later we will assign this temporary to the output q so this is equal to 0 see temporary colon equal to 0 temporary colon equal to 0 because colon equal to is for variable colon equal to is for variable else if else if rising edge rising edge of clock we can also write this rising edge of clock as clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 that is similar to rising edge of clock both are same then see here now we are checking the input condition see until and unless we don't have any rising edge of the clock we will not check the input condition okay we will check the input condition whenever we have a rising edge in the clock signal okay so rising edge of the clock if t is equal to 1 then so what happens when t is equal to 1 t equal to 1 means toggle so every time the output is toggled so every time the output is changed complemented so temp is equal to temp colon is equal to not temp temp colon is equal to not temp that means here whatever the previous state is that will be complemented every time okay 
else else so anything else there suppose if else if t is equal to 0 else if t is equal to 0 then temp is equal to temp because it maintains the same previous state and if so how many ifs we have opened two ifs one if is for this t and another if is for raising it uh, reset and if after that we need to now assign this temporary to original output what is the original output q so we have taken q which is a signal so less than equal to not temporary and is not 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 temporary this is temporary q is equal to temporary and q bar is not temp okay so end process and end behavior semicolon is mandatory at the end of every line and behavior of t flip flop okay this is what the t flip flop t flip flop behavioral code okay thank you